Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Anas and I'm working for you. Now you know, so if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change the button view wall to anything you want on your Shopify store. And again, this is actually a request by one of my subscribers. Actually, all my latest videos are requests. So, as I said, if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below and I will make a video for you just like this one that you are watching right now. And as I said in this video, I will show you how to change the view all text on the button, I mean, to anything you want. And the view uh, all button that shows up uh, below the future product section or actually there is a lot of sections where the product shows up anyway I will show you how to change the view all button on every section including the future product which is the obviously the most requested one and this trick is really easy and will not use any code for it because this is a really simple uh, thing that we need to do in order to change the view all text on the button to any text you want and if you are wondering what I'm talking about well this one right here as you can see this button right here it says view all and if you click on it it will show me all the products uh, for the Shopify store as you can see so what if you want to change this view all to any text you want in this video I will show you as I said to change the text to anything you want and it's really easy and it works for every Shopify team and I mean it this time so whatever if you're using down team or sense team or refresh team or any shopify even the paid ones it works for them just fine and if you have any issues as i said or you don't understand anything just drop me a comment i will be happy to help you out and without any more talking let's just jump forward but before we start as you can see the shopify store right here is the shopify store that i do all the tutorials on and everything you see in the Shopify store, including the video banner right here with transparent header, as well as the hover effect, as well as the hover color, once you hover over them on the menu, it does show a different color, as well as the text menu on the drop down, and even removing the cart icon or changing the cart icon to any icon you want, and removing the search icon from here. All the things that you cannot do from the team customizer, I did make a video on how to do that easily. And as always, uh, I do share the code for it completely free in the description box without having to pay for it or anything like that and i even offer you my support so what else you want and as i said if you are interested in how to customize your shopify store make it unique and branded make sure to check out my channel you will go from zero to hero with my videos because i made a lot of videos over 80 videos and more actually on the way and if you are wondering why i'm doing so well just for the sake of like please <laughs> as you can see just like the banner says here this is the only thing i'm asking for as i said the code is completely free in the description box the only thing i'm asking for is just a like if this video helped you out so as always wait until i finish this video and see the things that you're trying to do if it's working for you drop me a like below i would really appreciate it and without any more talking let's just jump to it and show you how to change this view all button right here to anything you want so obviously we will stay on this page right here and we will do the trick and come back in here and see the changes if the view all will change the thing that we're going to change it to. So obviously the next thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. After that click on online store from the left menu then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code right here. And it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And as I said, this trick will work for every Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do is access the folder at the bottom of the page right here, the last one, where it says locals. And this locals folder exists on any Shopify team. So simply click on it and it, it will show you a lot of JSON files in here. And as you can see, each one starts with the, the letter for a language, uh, two letters actually. For example, the DR in here stands for Dutchland, I think. This one is obviously for English, this one is Spanish, this one is Finland language, something like that. This one is for French and so on as you can see. So obviously you need to access the one that you are using. And from my guess, I think you are using English on your Shopify store, right? If you are using English, just access this one right here which says en.default.json. So make sure to access this one. And simply click on it and it will show you a lot of JSON code in here. The next thing you're going to do, simply click on the code just like you want to edit it or something like that. Then uh, click on uh, command f if you are on mac or if you are windows click on Control f and it will show you this section right here at the bottom of the page and in here simply type in view all as you can see 
simply you type in view all and hit enter and it will highlight it on the code for you in here and this is just so you're not keep scrolling looking for it manually that will hurt your eyes right so uh, the next thing you're going to do as you can see there is three sections where this view all exists as you can see uh, the first one which is the future blogs which is the blog section on the home page the second one is the future collection and the third one is a collection list and obviously you need to change it on the section you want in my case as i said i want to change it in here for the future product and the future product is obviously the future collection right here so this is the section for it and make sure you do change the one in red let me remove this so will be obvious here we go so make sure to change as i said the one in red and between the quotation actually it's actually even this one with the quotation but anyway and make sure to change the one in red in here on the right so obviously as i said i want to change the future collection so i'm going to change this one right here and uh, in place i'm going to type in hit that like because i want you to hit that like if this video helped you well i would really appreciate it so this is the thing i want to be uh, displayed instead of this uh, view wall in here and after you did change it to the thing you want and make sure to keep it in between the quotation marks otherwise it will not work simply click on the save button right here and after the changes will save it we will get back shopify store reload the page and this one should be hit that like and make sure you do so so let's just reload the page and here we go check out this section here it says hit that like just like i changed it to so obviously you can change this to anything you want with this really really simple trick and as i said in the beginning of the video this video is actually a request by one of my subscribers so if you have any video requests or any questions make sure to drop them below in a comment but for now that's how you change the view all button to anything you want on your shopify store and i think my job it is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one